Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajian and these are some of the top stories we have for you tonight. One of the Virgin Islands most wanted is arrested. A former police chief's son is arrested for vehicular homicide. A person of interest in the Traxco robbery and Bogle brings you your entertainment report. These stories and more are up next on News Channel 8. In our top story tonight, 27-year-old Uriah Smith is in police custody this evening. Earlier this week, he had been placed on the VI's most wanted list. News Channel 8's Wes Small has this story and more. Thanks a lot, Jerome. We do have a late-breaking crime story to tell you about. We're going to get right to it, plus two other stories in the crime blotter for tonight. VI's most wanted, Uriah Smith. Remember him? We have been reporting on him earlier in the week. We needed him to be picked up. He has been picked up. Within the last hour or so, we understand he was seen in the Marley area out west in Frederickstead. We understand a lot of police cars um, joined the chase, VIPD, perhaps 10, maybe 12 police cars involved. Finally, they nailed him on the beach um, near uh, Marley, right across the street from Marley, near the fish market. We understand that they have Uriah Smith now in custody. We'll have more on this late-breaking story over the weekend and then on Monday for you. Another story, remember that Traxco robbery that happened in mid-August? VIPD have now arrested 28-year-old Andre Buffong. You see his picture here. He's been charged with unauthorized possession of a firearm and ammunition. Remember that Buffong was a person of interest in the August 17th Traxco race um, robbery. That's at um, Doc James Racetrack. Then on October 9th, the search warrant was issued by the Superior Court, that to allow investigators to gather evidence on the case. Now, Bafong has been taken into custody. He has now been placed on $25,000 bail. He has been remanded to Golden Grove. And finally, 16-year-old Shiloh Urgent. You might remember him. We reported on him yesterday, a Campo Rico murder suspect. That in the slaying of 43-year-old Stanislaw McIntosh. Well, now Urgent has now been charged with murder. You see his picture here. Urgent from Williams Delight allegedly shot and killed 43-year-old McIntosh on June 13th. He was first arrested for that crime on July 14th, just a day after, but he was placed in YRC Youth Rehabilitation Center. His bail was set at $5,000, but now he is being tried as an adult. $25,000 bail now, and he is now in Golden Grove. He's been removed from YRC to Golden Grove, that an order from Miguel Camacho, Superior Court Judge. Now you're caught up on the crime blotter. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And in other news, the son of former police chief Thomas Hanna has been arrested for vehicular homicide. 20-year-old Trisden Hanna from Estate Carlton was picked up by police around 6.30 a.m. Wednesday and bail was set at $10,000. Authorities say that the accident was caused by Hanna as he improperly changed lanes and collided with the car that Miss Lorraine Spencer was traveling as a passenger. Hanna was traveling west to east on the highway in the area of Paradise and struck another vehicle that was also going in the same direction. Miss Spencer unfortunately died in the accident. Employees at the Carlton, at the Charles Harwood Hospital are once again feeling the effects of mold contamination in their workplace. News Channel 8's Wes Small files this report. Today we're at Charles Harwood and it's an ongoing situation and yes it is hot out here, excuse the sweat, but the mold contamination at Charles Harwood has been a problem for some time and I would imagine as the temperatures soar that's got to play havoc what's going on. Um, Charles Harwood seems to always have some kind of maintenance problems. Let's face it, it is an old hospital and it has a lot of functions. One of the functions is the MAP card, the medical assistance program for um, low-income families for help. This is a very important program, but the mold contamination has gotten into the MAP office. So all MAP 
employees, or most of them anyway, are outside and they're staging a sick out because they cannot take the mold contamination any longer, even though they've begged powers to be to please clean up their office. Right now, let's go off camera to one of the employees and we can get inside of their struggle. We're in the Medicaid department. We have like six employees. And for the last month, the place have not been clean. And this is where they have the MAP card? The Medicaid card. And we have like 65 to 75 people per day coming in that room. It's so contaminated, like two hours after we get in there, we're itching. For the last month, I have asked like five people to come and clean this room because the person that normally does it is out on sick leave. A maintenance worker. Yeah, one of the housekeeping right. ladies and to no avail. So we figure we will sit out because there's no, it's no point that we be in there sick and itching all day just because somebody would prefer not to come and clean it because the lady that normally does it is out on sick leave. How come they didn't replace her? I can't tell you. I've been to like five people asking them every day to please come and clean the room and to no avail. All right, now that y'all are out and y'all are not working and it looks like the entire staff is out not working, now the MAP program here is like uh, stalled and people are complaining. Now are they cleaning up your office now? Well, I guess they will have to today. The office is not closed per se. We're just out until somebody clean it. That's all we are asking for, a sweep and a map. That's all. So I guess now someone will do it. But it shouldn't have to come to this, It should shouldn't it? have to come to this. They have tons of, of workers in here, housekeeping and maintenance, and it shouldn't have to come to this. Or management. I, I, I guess so. I shouldn't have to ask five people to clean one room. It's bad enough that we're in this little two by four room and nobody does anything about it. It's an ongoing situation. The problems with maintenance right here at Charles Harwood Hospital. Today, it's mold contamination. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.